Many of you are always asking how I make my Anki cards, and I actually just needed to make Anki cards for the case that I'm studying for in pediatric urology tomorrow. And so I filmed it for you. And so here it is. It's um, how I make Anki cards using UpToDate and Wikipedia. So many of you asked how I make cards um, on Anki with new material. So I'm actually going to walk you through that today. I have a procedure tomorrow for which I need to know a certain number of things. and I need to make cards for it really quick. So for example, I need to make cards on fetal hydronephrosis. Um, so I usually pull it up on UpToDate or whatever my source is. There were no good videos on this, so I actually had to use UpToDate. I usually don't like using text as much, but hey. Um, what is fetal hydronephrosis? It's basically a common finding on ultrasound. It's when the renal pelvis is dilated yada, yada, yada. Um, I need to get down to the hard facts. So one thing that I was concerned about is because the patient that I'm working with tomorrow might have something like this. Um, and so it's important for me to understand um, what can cause it. So one thing, what is a mega ureter? Um, and the reason I put this as a question is because I have heard that mega ureters can cause uh, congenital hydronephrosis before. Um, and it's first, so for me to know that, I need to first know what a mega ureter is. And a mega ureter is exactly what it sounds like. It's when the <laughs> ureter is clearly very, very large. Um, and it's because there's a blockage at the ureterovesicle junction. Um, and so it's a large dilated ureter. Okay, one thing that I do have is that this add-on, which will let me freeze this, and this is just the question that I answered. I don't want to freeze this, so I'm going to change it. For those of you who don't know how I took this screenshot, you basically press Command, um, Control, Shift, 4, and then you do this, and it automatically copies it, and all you need to do is press Control, V to paste it. So that's basically my first question. And then I'm going to ask, what causes a mega ureter? And it clearly says, an am functional or anatomical abnormality at the ureterovesicle junction. So functional or uh, anatomical abnormality at the ureterovesicle junction. And this makes sense because urethro refers to ureter, ureter and the vesicle refers to bladder. And so this is the junction between the bladder and the ureter. Okay, cool. Got it. Um, and one thing I do want to include here is recall that a ureter um, uh, recall that a mega ureter is often a cause of hydronephrosis, which is a dilation of the renal pelvis. And I just include that just so I'll know um, exactly what I was referring to. Because the reason I cared about this is because of the reference to hydronephrosis. Okay. And now I wanted to learn a little bit more about a posterior urethral valve. So basically, I write down what is a posterior urethral valve, and it says right here, it's uh, obstructing membranous folds within the lumen of the posterior urethra. Basically, um, obstructions at the posterior urethra that lead to urinary tract obstruction. Um, so this is the closed deletion I'm going to make. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I actually can't find any good pictures of this on UpToDate. So I always Google things uh, and see if I can find something. So here, I think I'm just going to use this one just because it's a simple one. Um, but I'm just going to copy and paste it here. And again, as I said, I always like having imagery with my uh, explanations. And so I'll save this here. And last but not least, I wanted to know what an ectopic ureter was. And honestly, UpToDate did such a bad job explaining this that sometimes I do end up resorting just to go to plain old uh, Wikipedia. Wikipedia is actually a great resource, and I personally do use it a lot. And so I didn't know what it was. Um, UpToDate wasn't good at explaining it, but now I get it. Um, when the ureter does not insert directly into the bladder and instead terminates at a different site. So this is important because notice how I always write the answer out. I usually almost never copy and paste directly from another site because um, 
it often gets in the way of me remembering. So by writing it out, I'm not only making sure I understand what it means, but I also now know exactly why this card is what it is. And the good part is it has an awesome picture here. So it shows you usually the ureter attaches to the bladder, but if it didn't and attached somewhere along the sign, like the urethra, um, then that would be an ectopic ureter. Um, and so in males, this site is usually the urethra. In females, it's usually the urethra or the vagina. Um, it can be associated with renal dysplasia, frequent UTIs, urinary incontinence. Um, so this is just good to know. So now watch. Look at how I'm going to turn this paragraph into multiple questions. In males, where can you often find an ectopic ureter? And notice how it says right here, um, it's in the urethra. And now, I'm going to again obviously use the same thing, it's going to make a noise. I'm going to use this as my reference, I'm going to freeze this now because I want this part to stay the same and this is an add-on I can talk about later. If you want to know more of that, if you want to know about this add-on, like this video and comment below and I'll, I'll try to do that. Um, but I'll now do the same thing. In females, where is the site of common ectopic ureters? And in females, it's also the urethra. But females have a shorter urethra, so notice how here I'm going to do times two because there's two answers here. It's the urethra and then the vagina. Um, and that's right there. Um, and let's see. What is the method of visualizing an ectopic ureter? And again, I'll usually give a hint here at radiology, and I'll say CT scan is the answer. And all of this is pulled straight from this Wikipedia. Um, ectopic ureter is commonly the result of a duplicated renal system, a duplex kidney with two ureters. So this is also a good one because now I just learned something else. I learned what a duplicated renal collecting system is. Um, and it shows right here. It's when you have a kidney with two ureters. And so now I have a whole new set of questions I need to make because I want to. A... Um, an ectopic ureter is often caused by a uh, duplex renal collecting system. What is a duplex collecting system? And uh, basically a duplex collecting system is when you have a uh, <laughs> kidney with two ureters. Uh, and again, I'm going to include not only this first picture, but also this picture right here, because that gives me the source I need. And so there we go. Okay, so that's a duplicated ureter. And it's caused by an embryon, a congenital condition in which the origin of the ureter splits twice, giving you two kidneys. Okay, um, okay, good. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully this gave you guys an insight into how I make some of my questions. It gives you an insight into how I make some of my cards. And now I have to finish these cards in the next 10 minutes. So I'm going to leave it there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And woo, peace.